Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Harp Realtors. Today I'm at the beautiful community of Bell Oaks in Bavarde, Texas. The reason I'm out here is because I just got a phone call today for someone who's been watching my videos for a while and they're making the switch from being viewers to clients. I love it when that happens, but they're interested in this lot behind me and it's a one and a half acre lot and I think it might be a good fit for them. So of course, let me do a video of it. Let's go check it out. All right, this is a beautiful lot. There is a slope kind of in, in the front going back there. You can see the elevation is a little different. We were just out here and we had the uh, builder they're considering uh, using, which was Journey Homes. The owner actually came out, walked this lot with us, brought his little rolling tape thing. There's the other measuring stick. So this does kind of pie out. But yeah, having the builder come out, walk the lot, let him know the plan that they're considering is going to be a good fit and it looks like it is so of course that's why i'm out here but it's always a good idea to have that builder come out because he, he has so much more information on house placement and everything else that i just don't have but as you can see one of the big draws to this lot are the trees just tons of oak trees i love the fact that we got so many of them on the side of the property and going out let me go and pull up my little phone here so I can show you a little more of this lot. This is the lot right there. So there we go. You can see the lot, the little blue dots where we're at. All right, we're gonna keep walking back. I know these guys were talking about putting a fairly long driveway. So some of these trees we're seeing right now may or may not make it but there's going to be plenty of trees that are going to be still left up front of the house and on the side of the house and wait till you see these trees in the back now we're coming to the fairly level part of the lot and if you can see the house next door they don't have a really big drop off in the back and that's one of the big appealing things about this lot is the build site's going to be pretty darn level all right let's see where we're at on the lot all right this is where we're currently at seeing the blue dot so we're working our way back it's going to keep pieing out to where we got kind of where i think that big group of trees there's going to be not on the lot might be right on the edge of it which is the ideal spot for the trees and uh this is kind of oops, get to where I can still see it. This is kind of right where the build site for the home is going to be in this area here. So yeah, these trees are probably going to go, but uh, such is life. Um, you're going to see nobody. You're going to see the neighbor's backyard a little bit. So yeah, if this was the front of the house, this is what your view would be, which is plenty of trees in the front. These trees here you see go bye-bye and uh, okay I do see a little pink flag back there so we'll walk up back up on that side but I want to walk down the middle of the lot first and let's just say this is the back part of the house would we'll be kind of right around this location we kind of the back part of the house so this would be your view from the back porch actually more like there's your view from the back porch because it's going to be a little bit higher than where we're standing right now which is really nice i know they plan to put a pool in and uh, i've talked to the builder this clear spot would be a really good spot for the pool and then the yard portion behind the pool would be what you're seeing this little mini forest all right let me go and walk the perimeter of the back you see the little flag that that's where i'm going to be walking to right now and i'm going to go walk the whole back pie shape of this um there is a pretty good size easement so for water drainage there is a drainage ditch right back there but there's all this stuff for the trees you can't build on because in case of flooding and this little drainage easement if it overflows they don't want you to be building there so here we come to the edge of the property line seeing the pink flag and there's the 
natural drainage. See, it's not super, super deep. That's why they've got this as a water easement. And I see the other pink flag back there. That's what we're gonna be walking to. But yeah, if you've got all these trees like this and it's a one and a half acre lot, yeah, you're, you're, they're fine with leaving this natural as is. Maybe put a hammock or two up there underneath the trees. Set up a little fire pit, kind of out in the middle spot there and be really nice. But you have lots and lots of privacy. You can even leave all of this in the very back, natural as it is, and then nobody's gonna see you. Uh, it usually costs quite a bit of money to clear out spots, but there's, because of the way the trees are located, there's not a whole lot to be cleared out. Okay, we are still on the back of the property line. And yeah, I would leave this stuff natural just for privacy. But not a lot of cedars in here, which is really nice. Everything is oak. And typically when you're clearing out, you're trying to leave the oak and get rid of the cedars. And if you're not sure what a cedar tree looks like, this little cedar tree here with a little rough bark, they do suck up a lot of water, but that's a cedar tree. But I'm wondering if somebody already cleared out a lot of the cedars in here, which is possible. This lot has been on the market for about a year and a half. They have dropped the price down quite a bit. But yeah, here's the other corner. You know, we're gonna make our way back up. And I'll keep looking for the post to make sure I'm on the line. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if someone spent uh, five or six grand to clear out some of the cedars in here. All right, I'm still on the side property line. So yeah, all this would be just a really cool backyard. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm still on the property line going straight. This would be coming up with a clearing spot, which is the ideal place for them to be putting the pool, the grill, and just kind of real good relaxing area out there. All right. I wanted to walk back this side just so I can see where the stick is with this grove of trees. And yes, I think I see it there. So, there's a little flag you can't see right now. There's a little flag right there. So it looks like property line kind of splits this grove of trees here, which means when someone builds on this side, these trees don't get touched because everybody wants some trees on the edge of their property line. And yeah, I see the electric pole up there, which is kind of my marker for the property line is. So yeah, everything else is on this side, but the property line kind of splits this grove of trees, which is kind of cool. All right, beautiful lot. We're still in the relatively flat area. These are the trees that would have to go due to the build site. And these are the trees that get to be your entry ornamental trees but yeah i really like this lot we're going to be making an offer on it later on today all right that's going to do it for the video tour of this beautiful lot one and a half acres in bell oaks in Boverde, texas if you got any questions or if you're one of the viewers that have been watching me for a while and considering moving to the area feel free to reach out to me i'm just a text away but i definitely want you to hit that like button subscribe to my channel and as always keep sharing these videos with your friends and family especially if you know someone moving to this beautiful texas hill country area all right take care now bye